Best of luck to him. For sure. Thank you, Mitch. Stay with us for the weather next with Gaz. R32, now available in day conducted systems. A next generation refrigerant with a substantially lower impact on the environment. Ensure your next ducted system is a Dakin for pure comfort. Dakin. Time now to get the latest weather details with Gav. Thank you, Tash. Good evening. It is going to get a little hot throughout tomorrow. It is certainly going to feel like a summer's day. One of the last great summer's days that we have left because there is another southerly coming through late tomorrow night. This evening's weather photo, it's another corker. It certainly is a weather hot shot, hot spot looking across the water there at uh, Nelson Bay. Over the past 24 hours, again, northern New South Wales has received plenty of rain uh, throughout the Tweed, the Gold Coast area, right along the Queensland coast, in fact, and the uh, Gulf Coast there picking up some pretty big falls as Esther moved inland today and is going to skirt right across the Territory and could pop out and reform. We also have Tropical Cyclone Ferdinand, nice little eye, now Category 3. It's a healthy cyclone indeed. Storms there in the west and there's the next change that will be approaching the southeast and sweeping across it throughout tomorrow. That is going to force out the very warm winds, the northwesterlies, the prefrontals will be with us. The sea breeze will fight in to get uh, across the coast and cool the situation but as that prefrontal trough comes through, it is likely that we'll see some afternoon storm development, so it's a bit of a classic old summer's day. Uh, taking a look at uh, Queensland's rainfall, it's been big, and there's another heavy day across the central ranges, and big falls from Esther, and those storms continuing in the southwest land division for Perth. It's still very hot throughout the interior, cooler behind the change for Melbourne and Hobart. It is going to be very warm ahead of it, and storms likely to flare up from the capital to Sydney and locally as well. Around Gloucester, more falls. We've had three to four hundred millimetres right throughout this area, up to three hundred millimetres throughout the catchments and that's where the showers again have been focused throughout today. Otherwise it was uh, another very warm one that served up across the region, high 20s and around 30. Bit of humidity inland and plenty of it along the coast with those east northeasterly winds for another day, but not tomorrow. Hot offshore winds driving up temperatures, the sea breeze fighting to get in, but overall it's quite a hot day that is uh, expected. Then storms around the mountain areas and the potential that uh, some of those cells will roll off and hit the populated areas as we move towards tomorrow evening as the change is likely to come through around 11-ish towards midnight. Uh, so there's plenty of uh, time for daytime heating into the mid-30s across the central coast around the Lake Newcastle. Port Stephens up there too into the low 30s right throughout the suburban areas. Mid-30 degree day on the way. It's the same right across the valley floor, the lower Hunter and the upper Hunter as well and likely to go out with a bang for numerous locations. So some follow-up falls. So, well, <clears throat> excuse me, not much of that left. Strong wind warning has been issued. We're looking at tomorrow's high tide at just before 11, dropping to the low in the afternoon. It's an early low tide as well, 4.36 tomorrow morning. Sun's rise, 6.37, down at 7.34. As we take a look ahead, uh, very hot, then cloudy on Thursday with the southerly. Cloud cover breaking up, warming up a little bit across the weekend. Final day of summer, and then get ready for what is going to potentially be a very wet start to autumn for much of eastern Australia again. So it looks like we've got more rain. Storms potentially for the Upper Hunter drying out. Plenty of heat left winding down the days. And then for the Central Coast, similar story to Newcastle's forecast. Surfers, it was a little bit small as expected. Uh, a little bit of lump and bumping in the morning. Nice double shot from our camera crew team out there working it. Nice stuff. The water temperature was a little bit fresher this morning. Fun little waves that get gobbled up by that high tide. Thank you, Gav. And to breaking news, there's a bizarre story unfolding in Sydney's inner west right now, with police calling in animal catchers to wrangle a troop of baboons seen running from a hospital at Camperdown. These pictures just into the newsroom show the baboons on the loose near the Royal Prince Alfred Hospital. It's believed they escaped from a medical research facility. Handlers from Taronga Zoo managed to catch them a short time ago and will deliver them back to where they came from. And a kangaroo and her one-month-old Joey have had a lucky escape after falling 11 metres down a mine shaft in central Victoria. A gold prospector raised the alarm to an animal rescuer who abseiled down the shaft to remove the ruse. Incredibly, both Mum and Joey were uninjured.
Animal Kingdom's busy tonight. Sure is. <laughs> That's our bulletin for this Tuesday. We'll have updates throughout the evening, but stay with us now for A Current Affair. Thanks for your company from all of us here. Good night. Good night.